Please give a warm uh, welcome for Lydia from uh, uh, Skywalker, my <laughs> beloved competitor also. Uh, Lydia came a long journey and I think that it will be a very interesting story. So uh, Lydia, the, the stage is yours um, and I will just... Jenki. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. My name is Lydia Terpel. I'm CEO and co-founder of Skywalker. And uh, yeah, originally I'm from Kyiv, uh, from Ukraine. Uh, yeah, the last one and a half months with a part of my team, great part of my team, my co-founder Sasha and Ola, we are here. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, today I don't want to pitch, to tell the truth, our startup because I know. Um, I pitched to all the investors which you mentioned here <laughs> and to which you have here and I know that they consider opportunity to invest in Skywalker and that's why I decided to invest this uh, 15 minutes uh, in a little bit another pitch. Uh, I want to share with you our own story, our failures uh, and maybe I will inspire somebody of, uh, of you to open your own startup, to create something new and not afraid uh, these mistakes which uh, all of us uh, should do uh, during this uh, wait for uh, amazing big startup. Uh, so yeah, I delegated a function of uh, clicking. Yeah, I'm a good CEO. I learned uh, that I should delegate as much as possible. Uh, so Skywalker. Uh, Skywalker, it's our... Uh, if to answer for this question really in very simple words uh, as our users uh, use. Uh, Skywalker, it's like Tinder for tech jobs. Yeah, we are one of the most uh, biggest tech uh, recruiting platform in Ukraine and now we are actively scaling uh, here on the Europe market. And to tell the truth that uh, Skywalker achieved uh, during the last year, because we launched our product was one year ago, this numbers. Uh, it's 26,000 uh, candidates on the platform. Uh, it's uh, 300,000 swipes on uh, jobs on the platform during one year and more than, uh, I think now it's even more than 9,000 uh, uh, interviews which was arranged on the platform. And to tell the truth, to achieve these numbers was not so easy. And we had so many fail, uh, fail, uh, fails uh, during this, uh, our trip to these numbers that it's even hard to count. Uh, but uh, the story of Skywalker, uh, yeah, of this product which you can see today and you can use our app, um, it begins uh, not like one year ago. It started five years ago. And let's start from that period of time. Uh, three girls decided to create uh, their own recruiting agency uh, because we dreamed about own business. Uh, so we decided that uh, we love the tech uh, recruiting field. Uh, that's why why not? We will do the business. We love the developers and we spent with them so many times by drinking diff different alcohol cocktails. To tell the truth, it's, it's uh, another story, but, but we organized uh, more than, I think, uh, 200 uh, uh, parties for IT developers. So we know really very good what developers want. And the spoiler, of, uh, at the end of this uh, story, I will answer for these questions, what they want. Uh, yeah, and uh, we know developers are really very good, we love developers, um, but to tell the truth, we hated all this recruiting process. Uh, yeah, we were untraditional recruiters, we hated all the recruiting, <laughs> recruiting process, that's why we decided that uh, after uh, three years of uh, successful recruiting agency, that we should uh, change something and you know these traditional startuppers thought uh, we should change the world and we can do it. Uh, so uh, after uh, thinking with girls we decided to make very, for some people it, it was very stupid decision to close the successful profitable recruiting agency uh, and we decided to start own startup. 
and uh, the name was the same. Tell the truth, we fall in love with the name Skywalker. I have the whole story, what it mean, uh, but maybe I will uh, tell it to you, uh, tell it to you uh, after the end uh, of this uh, pitch. And uh, we uh, decided that, okay, we will uh, change the world of uh, recruiting. And what, what should be the first, uh, what we should do? We are three girls, nobody knows how to code. Uh, we haven't investment, we haven't tech team, uh, we don't know how to create products. Uh, amazing, inspiring start, yeah? Uh, great. And we decided that we should uh, put all these ideas on the paper uh, and we learn a very modern word, mockups. Uh, so we decided to create a mockups. And I remember that I gathered the first uh, like 20 companies uh, who was previously our clients. And I uh, decided to pitch them a new idea of Skywalker platform. Uh, but when they asked me, Lydia, what is Skywalker, uh, what you are doing? I told them that, you know, it's better to see it once uh, than hear like 100 times about it. So I showed them mostly the uh, very simple uh, presentation, what is Skywalker. Uh, yeah, at that time, it seems that it is, uh, this is very um, easy to understand what we want to do and how we want to match people with vacancies on the platform. Uh, yeah, and it was, uh, you know, uh, from today's perspective, I understand that uh, I don't know how we gathered these first uh, 20 companies who told that, okay, uh, when you will launch this product, we will use it. Uh, yeah, and uh, at the same time, we gathered all that. Uh, I remember it was 2,000 uh, tech candidates yeah, on the waiting list. Uh, with all that, guys, we uh, drink a lot of alcohol at our startup, uh, uh, these uh, different parties uh, for engineers. And that's why they uh, sign up for the first uh, product. It, it was not a product even. It was like a mockups, and we created a landing and gathered their emails. Uh, yeah, and uh, we think with girls what to do next. Uh, we haven't tech team, that's why we have only possibility to speak about Skywalker, to uh, talk with different people about it. So we decided to go to the whole startup conferences and startup uh, competitions which we can uh, find and to speak about Skywalker. Uh, yeah, and I remember that uh, um, it was the uh, last days of uh, 2019. Uh, we gathered the, some money for my trip to the uh, Porto Hall to Web Summit. Uh, and I decided that it will be an amazing trip where I will find the first investments for Skywalker. Uh, so I went to the Lisbon, um, spent a few days there in the very big stress because I remember that I I uh, tried to find some people with uh, the red badges, uh, the named investor, and I pitched them that uh, I have an amazing idea for a recruiting platform, and they asked me, do you have some CTO? No. Uh, do you raise some investment previously? No. Do you have product? No. That's why they, uh, they finished uh, speaking with me during the few seconds after it. Uh, but but uh, that trip was very useful for me because uh, some uh, magic happened in the sky uh, and we are Skywalker, that's why it was very interesting that uh, on my flight from Lisbon back to Kiev, I sat, uh, sat next to a young engineer genius in the plane and we began to talk about some recruiting uh, and uh, problems on the market about some tech, uh, uh, tech even uh, topics uh, I tried to speak with him and um, I had a few hours for this communication with that guy because he can't, can't ex uh, like escape the plane, uh, it was in the sky. So at the end of this uh, flight in, uh, I proposed to him and he said, yes, yes, uh, I will be your head of engineering. Uh, so at the end of the flight in, uh, I returned to girls with a CTO and it was a huge success. After which uh, we... <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, yeah, uh, the same guy, it's still in Skywalker. It was a very successful proposal. Uh, yeah. And after it, uh, uh, we uh, had a, a, uh, yeah, a one startup competition, Seed Stars, proposed us to uh, pitch Skywalker uh, that uh, startup competition. It was a very big event um, in Kyiv. Uh, so I pitched, I won. And I remember that um, they was uh, uh, here on my like uh, position uh, before the auditory, and they told that and Lydia will represent Ukraine into a, a big startup competition uh, for the uh, Central and Eastern Europe uh, countries in Kazakhstan. And I remember that uh, firstly, I want to check the climate in Kazakhstan and the situation um, yeah and it was minus 33 I remember I googled it and I understood that okay it will be only business trip <laughs> uh, so I went to the Kazakhstan and, uh, spent three days there pitched a lot few, I know ten times and uh, it was very uh, unexpected for me that I won that startup competition and the main um, a guy in the jury, he came to me and asked me a few questions. Uh, how much you raise? Uh, uh, what uh, you did? Do you have a CTO? And at that moment, I haven't asked for that. I have a CTO. Yeah, and he told me that, okay, I want to cover all your investment round for Skywalker. And it was something like, uh, oh my God, crazy. I called to that, uh, uh, to my team. Yeah, they... Uh, was uh, unexpectedly surprised that I won that competition and I found an investor. So I returned uh, to Ukraine, incorporated company in the US, <laughs> returned uh, after it to Ukraine and understood um, very specific, uh, w we saw very specific news that uh, COVID happened. Um, and as you uh, can, uh, like uh, remember that times that each company be, uh, decided not to hire people, uh, they even began to fire recruiters. Yeah, and we was in a position when we are uh, pitching that we are a new recruiting platform and you should use it. So it was very hard news for us. And uh, the next half a year we spent not on the growing our no, candidate database or uh, making our product better. We spent it on the pivoting after pivoting and making our product each month uh, in another way. We tried to make some like product market fit for the market at that period of time, but it was really very hard. And I remember that uh, it was the final our meeting when we met uh, in my flat. Uh, yeah, it was on the floor. We ordered a lot of pizza and juice because we expected that it would be a long, long night with a lot of brainstorming. Yeah, and we uh, understood that we have uh, three big fuck-ups uh, during the first year of building a startup. The first fuck-up was uh, our product. Uh, we had a product market fit. The second fuck-up was our business model. And the third uh, fuck-up was uh, our position on the market. Yeah, such uh, three uh, little problems <laughs> for a startup. Uh, yeah, and during that night, um, we decided to change everything. Uh, yeah, and uh, at the morning, uh, the final, uh, our like uh, decisions was, uh, and I will explain what it was. Okay, product. Uh, firstly, we created something uh, so big and so complicated that it was. Uh, really similar to the LinkedIn on steroids, you know? Uh, it had such many functions. It was, you can create it a pipeline, uh, you could uh, f you know, match candidates, uh, publish different uh, articles there for uh, an engagement candidates, uh, you, can uh, you could chat with candidates, oh my God. It was really very complicated MVP. Uh, yeah, of a product, so we decided that it would be a cool idea to return to the classical rules of a startups and to focus only on one kill it feature. And how do you think, what was the kill it feature for this recruiting platform? Matching, of course, <laughs> we return to the classical uh, function of recruiting uh, platforms. Uh, so we cut it, uh, I think, 80% of the old code which we previously 
uh, on which we worked uh, and our tech team worked uh, and decided to focus only on this function. And to tell the truth, the, uh, our understanding of a product was very simple at, after that year of uh, pivoting, that companies should publish vacancies, candidates should swipe this vacancies, I, and by swiping right, they can agree to an interview and jump immediately to an interview. And we decided to focus on such very simple product. Secondly, our business model. Uh, I heard here that uh, somebody asked about uh, SA uh, if I have a SaaS platform. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have the same shirt that uh, SaaS enabled marketplace. Uh, yeah, after it, we, we had SaaS only. And to tell the truth, uh, the spoiler, I think that uh, based on my own uh, experience that marketplaces at the beginning, uh, it's a very bad match for SaaS business model. Even if it's very popular and only all investors will tell you that uh, they won't invest into SaaS, uh, uh, don't match the marketplace with the SaaS model at the beginning. Because, for example, our case, yeah, each company published their vacancies and they uh, should, uh, like, they have, like, different vacancies, yeah, and we can't propose them the, uh, I know, the same result each month so with bringing the new leads and candidates to the, I know, PHP vacancy and uh, security engineer vacancy. So it was really hard to sell them this, uh, uh, packages with subscription and that night we decided that it, maybe we can adapt some business model from uh, marketing and it was a pay per lead business model which we successfully adapted into recruiting and we are first startup as we know in the world who uh, successfully did it and we now uh, take money for each Mutual, uh, mutual match between the uh, when company agreed to an interview and candidate agreed to an interview. We have our own currency on Skywalker, it's named units, and all this gamification help us to provide the uh, really uh, some custom service for each company. Uh, we For some companies we bring like hundreds of leads per month, for some companies we bring like dozens of leads per month, and each of them can pay uh, for this and understand that they pay for a result. Yeah. And uh, the last thing uh, which we changed, it was the positioning of Skywalker. At the beginning, you know, we tried to find some very, I know, unique uh, explanation what is Skywalker, but always it was very stupid that well, you can find your dream job here, you know, all this bullshit. And uh, during this first uh, months of using Skywalker, even when it was really that complicated product, all candidates called the Skywalker Tinder with vacancies. And we think that, okay, <laughs> if uh, uh, they used mostly such naming, why we can't use it? And we decided to make the first position with this naming. And it was a huge success because pe for people it, it's really very important to uh, shortly describe what they are using and they like this product. Yeah, that's why it was the easiest way uh, for creating the word of mouth and spreading the idea of Skywalker in Ukraine among the Ukrainian developers on the market. Yeah, so I recommend it to you sometimes to uh, listen to your customers and try to uh, explain your product in uh, the way how they explain your product. Yeah, and uh, to tell the truth, before the war, even before the war, uh, the starting of the war, uh, you, uh, I'm very optimistic, uh, yeah, I did. Uh, the starting of the war, um, we had a plan uh, to uh, scale to the uh, Europe, but uh, when uh, it's happened, we understood that, uh, okay, uh, we want to donate more, we want to uh, help our people in our country on the another level. Uh, that's why we, we want to build a successful startup even uh, faster than we can expect it, and we expected it previously. So now we are not only on the Ukrainian market, and we scaled to the Polish market already, uh, to the uh, Czech Republic candidates market, and to the Romanian candidates market. And uh, yeah.
We are now spending the, all our time in brainstorming with my team because we rent a flat together. Yeah, we returned to that period of time when you lived uh, uh, with uh, some neighbors uh, and each day we spent in discussions how to create a better product. Yeah, sometimes we failed and I very uh, hope that that Sasha's failure after uh, sh uh, yeah, bathroom uh, that it was uh, the, our biggest failure in, on the Polish market. Uh, yeah, but we solved it uh, really uh, without any. Uh, yeah, it was successfully without any bad. Uh, I know uh, things with Sasha's hair. It's uh, on her head now. Uh, yeah, uh, that's why we can do it. Okay, and uh, our app is already open for the using here uh, by Polish uh, developers, so you can download it, you can uh, Google it uh, and use it. And uh, to make a some summary, uh, we have a slide with summary, yeah. Uh, we recommend you to focus on one feature at the beginning. Uh, I know that this is hard and sometimes you will spend one year for it. Uh, but it costs it. Uh, talk about uh, it everywhere from day one. And based on our own story, we found a CTO thanks to Pitchin on the events, and we found the first investor uh, thanks to Pitchin. Uh, watch uh, users' metrics, uh, think of gross uh, hacks uh, to boost it, and try to make money uh, as fast as possible. And I forgot to tell you about our biggest gross hack and I have time to do it or not? Yeah? Definitely. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, all investors uh, ask me how we um, invite candidates to the platform. And we have one uh, gross hack how we did it in Ukraine and how we tripled our signups uh, on the platform during uh, these three months. Um, one day we decided to create a referral program uh, with Ola. We discussed different ideas and one idea was the most stupid. Uh, that's why we decided not to do it. Uh, it was an idea that uh, maybe we can ask uh, candidates to invite their friends uh, to the platform and to send them some alcohol, a uh, bottle of alcohol instead of it. Uh, yes, so we decided to present this idea to our developers in a team uh, and we told them, guys, uh, if each developer will have the digital bottle of wine in their uh, candidates account on Skywalker uh, and by invite, after inviting four friends to the platform, we will send them this full bottle uh, of a real wine as a present. And our developers in the team told that, uh, girls, uh, you're crazy, uh, yeah. Um, but we proposed them that maybe we can do it in collaboration with a very successful and luxury brand of wine in Ukraine. And they decided that if they will agree to it, it's a fatum, we should do it. Uh, that's why we wrote a letter to the CEO of this big wine brand, and he answered that it's a very interesting proposal because IT specialists is very rich people um, in Ukraine uh, yeah, and they have very expensive bottles of wine. So we put it into, our, uh, into each candidate's pr uh, account on Skywalker and it, we were surprised that <laughs> engineers uh, so liked this idea that they uh, invited their friends to platform really crazy even before the public launch. I remember that uh, 70 uh, bottles was gathered during the first like two hours after publishing it in release. Uh, yeah, and we tripled uh, really our registrations absolutely for free uh, by using such uh, like uh, gross hack uh, on Skywalker. That's why if you have some stupid ideas, maybe they are not so stupid and you should test it. Yeah, sometimes it's work and brings you uh, free leads uh, to your platform. Yeah, and I think that it's all. I'm open for your questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lydia, uh, for this presentation. Uh, Maybe the first question for me, because uh, I, I know your story, I know your situation, and maybe it would be good uh, to put it once again uh, that, uh, you know, because of the war, the recruitment market on Ukraine just disappeared. So it's, uh, it's really, uh, it's, it's, it's really a terrible situation regarding your 
uh, your startup. So um, I really recommend everybody who is looking for developers to use Skywalker uh, here in Poland. Uh, and I have also uh, some questions for, for, for you uh, regarding how you are uh, dealing with this because, you know, let's say your sales, uh, uh, the activities and so on just drop from day, one, from day to day for like 99%, yes? I think it was something like that, yes? And uh, it uh, have to be very stressful. Mm, yeah, <laughs> we have our own methods how we... Uh, we fight with the stress. Uh, it will be our secret, <laughs> I think, with girls. Uh, yeah, uh, to tell the truth, we, uh, at the first uh, weeks of a war, uh, we, uh, we, we had, like, here was our matrix, yeah, and it dropped, like, to zero. It was, uh, it was very hard, but to tell the truth, um, the hardest moment was connected with the people in our team, and to tell the truth, I didn't care about the metrics at that period of time. And now we created a new strategy when we match Ukrainian developers and help them to find jobs only with foreign companies who are able to hire them. Mostly it's the companies from the Europe, US, Canada, uh, Israel. And for the companies uh, in Ukraine, we help them to find some Polish candidates on our platform. Yeah, because the, this mutual match between the companies from Ukraine and candidates from Ukraine, it's impossible now because for both of them, it will be like a huge risk to work with each other. Yeah. Uh, and uh, your team is uh, right now partly here in Poland and in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. But we plan to relocate more people here to Warsaw yeah, and sp speak with them. Okay, uh, thanks, Lydia. Uh, do you have any uh, other questions? Oh, okay, here we have. Lydia, if you are trying to copy Tinder, please tell us about your experience of using Tinder and maybe some useful tips. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it was a really funny story of my u first using of a Tinder. It was my last uh, using of a Tinder also. Uh, I remember that I opened an app and I didn't understand how, uh, in which like, uh, site I should swipe boys. So I swipe all boys right. Uh, and at the morning, I opened an app and understood that I had more than 50. Hi, hi, how are you? How are you? And I was in a stress and shocked, like, oh my God, all of them think that I, I like them. Um, yeah, so I de deleted an app uh, at that moment, and uh, I'm still sh shy when I uh, yeah, think about it. And to work out the stress, you also use this secret with girls. Huh? I didn't hear. Ah, again, one more. To work out the stress, you also uh, go to the and use it secret with girls. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe any other questions? <laughs> uh, he, do you re remember that he, he's married and has two kids, you know? He, he needs to find a way how to get this experience <laughs> from... <laughs> Same, same for me, right? You're right, Lydia. Yeah, so uh, you mentioned like many times that you have this, like I would not say the failures, but rather uh, difficulties, yeah, difficult situations. And like, how do you think, not like taking into, into account everything is happening right now, like can you use that knowledge you, you've gathered before, you know, like these days when you scale to other countries, when you tr need to rebuild your business, is anything you could take from that last life? Or, or you uh, need to learn again everything from the beginning? No, I think that we became older and more uh, smart. <laughs> That's why also we used a lot of things uh, from the previously experience. Uh, but the markets uh, is really very different. 
so now we return in the period of time when we spoke al speak a lot with our clients, uh, speak a lot with our new users, with, with uh, Polish guys also. Uh, yeah, if you see Olya uh, write some messages, 100% uh, I think that this is some Polish guy, he is developers, and he, she asked him uh, how it's to use Skywalker and what he think about the platform. Yes, yeah, so um, when you scale to a new market and you are marketplace, yeah, you should uh, return to the previously methods, but with the today's uh, mindset and understanding of the, your business. That's why it's easier. Now, I, I think that it will be not so long period of time as we spent for growing on the Ukrainian market uh, here on the new markets. It will be quicker. Okay, so Lydia, that's a question for you and to Piotr. That's exactly the same, so we're gonna be even funnier to listen from the uh, <laughs> more of a startup and a, a grown business that um, actually has a marketplace. So you said about SaaS enabled marketplace, actually mm -hmm. I'm running one, and the question is how do you juggle between the supply and demand side uh, to actually get the recruiters, uh, the, the companies that need IT developers, and the IT developers themselves at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, firstly, in, when it, we was in Ukraine, it, it was the start of the business. We focused only on one uh, specialization at the beginning, the first uh, two months, I think it was only front-end developers. Uh, that's why it was easier because you have this focus. After it, we began to grow and make the database wider, the, speci the specialities wider. Uh, but uh, the first of all, you should invite few thousands of candidates, in our case, uh, and after it, to invite some companies to the platform. In our today's case, uh, we have some specific that a lot of Ukrainian candidates, like 20% of the market, relocated to the Europe, mostly to the Poland. That's why it's our like the start for building uh, the business here with inviting more po really like uh, Polish candi candidates, but for companies it seems that all of them are Polish candidates. Uh, so uh, each market have some specifics. For example, for Czech Republic and Romanian market, we will use another options for growing the um, demand supply uh, these parts. But uh, you should understand at the beginning uh, whom to invite firstly. In our case, it's candidates. Yeah. Why? Why it's candidates actually? You know, the example uh, which I uh, had from a very good mentor from one uh, company, he asked me, okay, if Skyworker, it's a supermarket. Uh, yeah. What uh, should be first in the supermarket to invite the other side? And I told that it should be some goods on the shelves. Yeah. And after it, you can invite the buyers. That's why in our case, these goods on the shelves, uh, sorry developers, if you're here, yeah, uh, didn't listen it. Uh, these goods on the shelves, it developers in our case. And the buyers, it's the uh, companies. Yeah. Okay. Piotr? Can you repeat uh, the question for me? Yes, yeah, so uh, how did you build the first supply and demand? Um, chicken actually? egg problem. How yeah, so chicken and egg okay, problem, okay, so how did you solve it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, t t Tomek is uh, head of people with uh, one of the nice, uh, fast-growing uh, software houses. I recommend you to use also Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so regarding uh, my situation, the chicken egg problem, so first of all I just add and do not ask anybody to add uh, 300 uh, job postings on Just Join IT from the companies with salaries. Uh, the companies do not even realize that they have uh, these postings. Uh, and then I'm trying to make um, uh, some things to promote them on, on social media with some kind of distribution for free uh, in the... Um, in social media groups, uh, also alongside with uh, live streams with Polish developers from all around the world. So first of all, let's say we have like 300 uh, job uh, postings, which was uh, uh, two times bigger than uh, the other uh, job board that were existed at the time that was directly focused to this niche. So we have uh, f from start the biggest choice, even though uh, the choice was not uh, so much. However, it was like that. And then I was trying to uh, encourage the, the developers, told them that, okay, you have the biggest choice and so on and so on and so on. And that was like that. So if I understand correctly, so correct me if I'm wrong, uh, 
the growth hack here is just to scrape, for example, all the candidates or all the job posts and just put it on your platform and that might work very well for the other side. Uh, of course, it's... Uh uh, very, very. I, I, I have an answer. Uh, in our case, we never uh, uh, like. Uh, I forgot this word. One second. Uh, uh, yes, Scrape. spread uh, or uh, this uh, candidates list uh, or uh, even vacancies. Uh, at the beginning, it was the real people who registered on the platform. But uh, our case was unique because we had a very big IT community in Ukraine, thanks to our previously business, thanks to our previously networking parties. So. For for us, it was like a one publishing in the LinkedIn that, hey guys, register here, and we get it like 2,000 uh, pre-registrations at the beginning. That's why m my recommendation to build uh, your startup in the field where you are really have some name and you uh, know this sphere really very, very good. Yeah, it, it, the best explanation that it was at the beginning uh, that the cool sales managers created the platform uh, yeah, in the, uh, for this field. For example, we was in the recruiting field and we decided to, like a next step, to create own product in this field. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'd like to also to add the context uh, here because uh, five years ago when I started Just Join IT, the context was like that, that the niche job boards have like from one to 200 uh, job postings. So to outperform them, I just need to have uh, twice as much and it wasn't uh, hard, let's say, yes. Right now when uh, this uh, job uh, Portals has like 10,000 job ads. It's uh, much more harder to 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 outperform them, uh, and it's also the GDPR things and so on. And many of these companies would be angry, maybe except Tom Kurek. Uh, um, but uh, yes, right now it, it might be uh, much more harder to do it. However, I also recommend uh, Lydia to make and scribe uh, job postings and many other things. <laughs> but <laughs> but right now, but uh, she's not uh, want to do. This right now <laughs> uh, no we did it <laughs> 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 right now yeah but uh, thank you it's very interesting case that we are like a competitors but like a friends uh, with Peter yeah. I'm very thankful for you for your help yeah thanks and uh, uh, yeah yeah, yeah. One more thing. Uh, I, I, it uh, seems that it's very easy to publish s some content that hey guys registered one important thing, we used uh, very uh, sp specific uh, like uh, positioning because we understood really deeply what candidates hate into previously like older recruiting platforms and the typical platform. We understood that they hate the applying for jobs. Uh, sorry, in Ukraine, they hate uh, the applying for jobs. That's why SK Worker focused on the, uh, this uh, function for passive search. That's why uh, here you uh, will not like apply for a job. We focused on the another thing so that candidates don't ask the long reads of uh, vacancies descriptions without important for them details. So we created a unique vacancy descriptions with the whole important details for the candidates. And we highlighted it in each p post, in each articles. It's a um, big work of uh, Ola and Sasha yeah, that they uh, spoke with candidates so many times that they understood how to use in three sentences the describing of a platform after which they want to really register uh, on this platform even without any open and published uh, vacancies because on Skywalker they can check vacancies before today only after registrations. And now for the Polish market, we changed the strategy. Now the, our platform is really open. You can filter the whole va vacancies. And only after it, when you see these vacancies, you can register to the platform. Uh, maybe one minute demo video would work for you. Oh. We have a demo video. Yeah. Maybe we can put it on. Uh, it is right here on the slide. Uh, well, yeah, I think we occupied this event, <laughs> but OK, <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you can uh, uh, play the. Uh, yeah, click to watch our demo. Okay, you can do it. Uh, can you click to that? Yeah? Oh. In the meantime, do you have any other questions to Lydia? Tomek. Ah. I missed you. There's one thing, like as a potential client, I have one issue with your business model, and that's the trust issue. Like when I am encouraged to buy something based on cost per 
impression or cost per click, that can be easily faked. Like, have you ever thought about this? Because I'm, I'm used to pushing very mm -hmm. severely on success, success mm -hmm. fee model any time I recruit anyone. And you know, that, you know that how it works. I, I understood uh, your question. Yeah. So, so what do you think about this? Like, how, do you, how would you convince me that this trust issue is not an issue? Yeah, yeah, I understood it. Uh, thanks. Uh, very cool question. Uh, when the company firstly registered on Skywalker, we put it on your company balance some of our units for free. It's our currency. And you will spend these units for each interview. And uh, we give you such number of units which will be enough for successful hire on Skywalker. Because mostly the 15 interviews on Skywalker finished with the successful hire. That's why it's very easy to test. Uh, yeah. So I'm waiting for this demo because I just signed up and, and it said that you'll demo me. So I'm, can we do the demo now? <laughs> okay, uh, you pay uh, let's see our demo and uh, we will finish and switch to the uh, networking. Yeah. Okay. It's possible, guys. Tomek Zapatka, how are the things going? Tomek. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so maybe we will do it afterwards. Uh, any other questions to Lilia? Okay, okay, just give us a moment <laughs> of time. Do you have some jokes? Uh, yes, I have maybe one question. What do you think how the market will... Uh, okay, maybe no. Maybe we will see this. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lead gen platform for tech hiring. You need to hire a software engineer? Here's Alex. Okay, maybe we'll do this uh, in another way. You know, uh, we will put it on our social media. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, give a warm uh, uh, cheers to Lydia. Thank you for your performance. Uh, you are a really brave uh, founder.